What's up, YouTube? Long time no see. Do you like my dance studio? Thank you, Stephen Sorrentino. We also moved. I'm currently in a new house. <clears throat> we kind of got kicked out of our house. Um, we were renting that house, and then the owners randomly showed up and said, hey, uh, we're moving back in. And so we were like, oh, okay. We had to leave and find a house really quick, but luckily we found this one, and we own this one now, so. I can do things like turn the garage into a dance studio. I am looking for a tripod, and I cannot find a tripod, and that makes me sad. Ow, it's hot. I apologize for the mess. I'm trying to find a place to film this thing, I don't know. I don't know where to film. There's like no natural light in this house. Except the laundry room. Hey YouTube, it's been a long time since I've made a video. I apologize for being gone for a long time. Not that a lot of people will follow me, but for the people who do, I'm sorry I've been gone for a while. And that is because, well, I've been stuck in here for a while. I kind of lost track of myself. I haven't really been in a vlogging, capturing my experience, sharing myself kind of mood lately. Um, we just moved into a new house and it was a pretty stressful experience. My dad had a heart attack a few weeks ago. Um, it was very scary for all of us, but he's okay. Um, and yeah, uh, I was just sitting alone in my room today and I felt like sharing a story. So I'm going to get right into it. I was admitted into a mental institution about two years ago around this time of year, June, end of June-ish, uh, beginning July. Now, why was I in a mental institution? Well. Here's the story. Now the reason I went to a mental institution was because I had a very bad breakdown. Now before I get to that, I'm going to rewind back a little bit and share a little bit of my relationship experience. Um, I'm not very good at relationships, I don't think. I don't think I was built for relationships. My first relationship, my first love, um, and this is all in respect to the other's privacy, so I'm not gonna give any names, but my first love, um, she left me for a girl, and that was very confusing at that time. I was a sophomore in high school, and I didn't know what to think. I was left for a girl, and, you know, I, I felt... I, I did not know how to feel about that. Uh, the second one... Uh, the second one basically said really mean things to me, and... Uh, my self-esteem was pushed very far down there. And the third, to put it very simply and very broadly, she lost her memory and forgot all about me and the whole entire relationship. So, I haven't really had the best relationship experiences. And then after that, I was just kind of done with relationships for a really long time. I would try here and there, but it would just never really work out. So skipping ahead a few years after all those interesting relationship experiences, I met this girl who I thought was really Cool. And uh, we just casually started talking. I wanted to support her and she liked to dance and all that stuff, all this stuff. And out of nowhere, she just kind of started to distance herself from me and I didn't know why. And then come around my birthday, um, she just kind of hurt my feelings a lot, to put it simply. And I'm not going to give any names for the sake of privacy. Um, but after experiencing that, um, after all those years of just going through an intense healing process and a forgiveness of myself process, hating myself process, low self-esteem process and building myself back up and finally feeling ready to experience another person in that kind of way and then to have it not work out, um, it, it kind of, it kind of uh, triggered something in me, an intense hate for myself. Uh, it wasn't specifically her that caused me to be this way, to have this breakdown. It was just the accumulation of all those different experiences and not just relationships either, just uh, like a, a lot of other things, a lot of just self-esteem and life and general issues that I've been dealing with just clicked and I had a really bad breakdown. To illustrate this for you guys, this one girl, I'll call her Watermelon because I like Watermelon. So I was sitting alone in my room and just contemplating what just happened between me and this Watermelon. and. <laughs> And somehow my mind was going through all these different, through this maze of just different emotions and then I ended up hitting like a bomb and I exploded. I just burst into tears and I actually don't even remember everything that happened. But, um, I do remember uh, tearing up all of my artwork. In my old house, my room was filled with 
all of my art. I would hang it up on my walls and stuff. And to sit in that space, my self-esteem again, like just instantly dropped back down. And to be surrounded by my art, the, the things that represent me and everything that I hate about myself, I hated that. And so I grabbed everything off the walls and I started ripping everything up. I got into a lot of my sketchbooks uh, that I've created over the years, like through my school and my growth as an artist, uh, drawing wise, I ripped everything up and I was super angry. I punched a few holes in walls. It got so bad to the point to where my dad had to restrain me on the ground and I... My dad had to restrain me on the ground, face on the floor, my hands behind my back. My parents called the cops and uh, the cops came, they handcuffed me and they got an ambulance and I was taken to the ER and was assessed. They gave me Benadryl so I could fall asleep and just kind of put my mind at ease. When I woke up, I was sort of okay. Um, and I was released to go back home uh, that night. I don't particularly remember everything that happened about this uh, state that I was in, but I just know I was very angry and I would always ask for Benadryl. I didn't want to be awake. The cycle was wake up, be angry, Benadryl, fall asleep. Wake up, be angry, Benadryl, fall asleep. And this continued on for the next two days. And then after those next two days, uh, my parents called the ambulance again and I went to the ER again. And then that's when I was admitted into a mental institution. Now going a little bit more into my background and my past, uh, I was diagnosed with ADHD when I was younger um, and depression. Uh, I was taking numerous medications, and I feel like all it did was make me more sick. Um, also, shout out to Anna Akana. I've seen your going on antidepressants video, and I don't know. I'd like to talk to you if you ever see this for some crazy universe connecting reason, but Yeah, going back into my past, ADHD, depression, um, I felt crazy. I felt not normal. That really put me in a bad mental state. And finally, uh, again, fast forwarding, I, was, I got myself into a mental institution. So going into a mental institution was not the best feeling in the world to wake up to.